Today's video regarding Canon Pixima TR7020 all-in-one printer. I'm going to show you how to do the copy, print and scan with this printer. So let's start with the copy. To do a copy we simply open the top scanner lid. Place a page here facing downwards. And we can simply click on the start button and it will start the copy. If you want to do some settings on the copy then click on the OK button and the first option we get is copy setting and then we can click OK and do the settings here. Once your settings are done go back and click on the start button and click on the start button and it will start the copy. Here we can see it's quite fast in copy and the result is excellent there is no problem in the copy function and the next thing I'm going to show you how to do the wireless printing and scanning to do wireless printing and scanning we need to connect this printer with our any device for with a, to do the wireless printing and scanning we have to connect it with the Wi-Fi network and then we can connect or add it in any device for example laptop computer or iPhone or any other smartphone so I have already connected it with the phone if you want to use Wi-Fi direct you can use that and if you don't have a Wi-Fi network then Wi-Fi direct is best option next thing is to open the Canon print app in your device and here we have the options for the printing and scanning open any document in your device you want to print for example this one or I'm going to print this one and click on the next button click on the print button and wait for the printer to print So here we can see the print result so the quality is good so we can use it for the printing like this and if you want to do the scanning we can use top scanner as we can see here by just placing a document facing here or if you just want to do multiple scannings you can use the top feeder tray I'm going to show you how to do with that so if you want to use the top feeder tray, place the documents facing upwards like this. Go to your Canon app and here we have to click on the scan icon. Click on the scan button again. Automatically it will start the scanning. So we just have to wait for that. So result is here let's see so scan quality is good and if you want to save it as a PDF just click here you get option to use as PDF or use is as a JPEG quality and once it is saved we can go back overall I can say it's a very good printer if you want to use it for multiple scannings and if you want to do wireless printing it can easily connect and then you can easily use with any device 
and uh, if you want to do copy it has a copy function as well you can do that uh, the good thing is like you have a cassette tray at the bottom where you can load a4 size sheets so you don't have to use the outer tray and you can place multiple documents on the feeder tray and if you want to scan a passport or a ID you can simply use the top scanner which is here so it's good for the home or office use thanks for watching